you know. I know a lot of people felt gratified and satisfied and they was, you know, all elated and, and you know, going beside themselves when he was elected. And I was getting texts such as, uh, they wouldn't give us 40 acres in a mule, <laughs> so we took the White House. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could that be a sign of our reparations? Mm. Or is that ignorance? Is that ignorance? Brother Abu. That's, that's, Brother, that's, that's, that's Queen Mother? Queen Mother, you Anybody can answer that? Now, let me, Queen let me Mother. say something first. First of all, uh, if you're ever thinking about getting 40 acres in a mule, you will never get it until you read it. Mm -hmm. Who did they take the land from? Did they take it from a black man? No. An African American? No. Negro? No. Colored? No. Indian? No. Who was it they took it from? Mighty Moorish Nation. It was the Moorish Nation. I, I, so if you don't proclaim your nationality as a Moorish American, you will never get land. Whoa. Say it again. Please repeat you that. You will they never need get land if you don't <coughs> return back to what you were when they took the land. Now, indeed, they did bring people from the other side over here. But it was people already here. That's right. They called them Indians. Oh, Remember Cochise and Geronimo? They were light-skinned, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, but the original Indian were dark-skinned. Blackfoot. So you're talking about some years that went through of um, uh, raping and sexing our, sexing our women, and they changed the population. Same story. And you want to look at change the population? Look at Puerto Rico, and look at, look at Santo Domingo. Right. All of those, a hundred years ago, most of those people were dark skin. Now you got to figure out how they got light skin, and then you understand how the Indian got light skin, and how they came in here and took this land, and so they got two of us side by side. One person says, I'm from Africa. And the other one said he's an Indian. <laughs> so we've been tricked and fooled. So we got to figure that stuff out. So you can't get no reparations. We had a meeting with Dr. Brock, and he's talking about reparation. But if you don't understand who you are, how are you going to get reparations? Mm, in which form will the reparations come back? You it has to come back it. to the you, original you, form. You can't, you're right. You got to go back to the originality. You can't get it from, uh, I'm going, my name is. Uh, uh, Hammurabi, and I'm, I'm a Negro, and I like to get that reparation. <laughs> no, they're gonna, they're gonna, you're gonna read the paperwork and say, we didn't take this from no Negro. Right. So you can't get the money. That's well, I, I'm not disagreeing with you, but what difference does it make where you're from or what your name is? We all look alike, more or less, and we should be given what's come, what's had been coming to us. Well, you did. You get a busted head. That's what they're giving you. Well, it's a now, contract. You gotta, you, see, you got to find out who you are so you don't get a busted head. That's what we get. Our children are getting busted heads because of what? Like the sister said, because of the color of their skin. Listen to this one. You made a point. One of the books that normally I have on me is called Family Law. In that book, in Family Law, they show you where European Jews, right, has been getting reparation. Japanese American have got reparation. And you know what's so interesting? You ready for the science? Please. They exempt from being attacked for child support. Mm -hmm. They don't have to pay child support. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have to repeat that. So the point is, <clears throat> we are being attacked for child support, but at the same time, look at the position that we was put in from the time of an enslavement of our people. We can't even feed our women. <laughs> We can't even put a roof over our women's head. We can't even put a roof or clothes, clothes on our women's back. So I can understand why our women feel the way they feel about us. Because we haven't done it for ourselves. So they got to go out there and do it for themselves and then take care of us. But it, so now, because those who are in charge and power, they're the ones who's giving them housing, food stamps, Section 8. We're being emasculated. Through the system. The, the, the government right now, the, the, the attorney general, he's called parent betrayer. He's the artificial father to our women. Mm -hmm. So we've been emasculated. When you look inside this Black Law Dictionary and look up the word parent betrayer, it talks about the attorney general. You see what I'm saying? How they emasculated us and took our rights away and then turned around, took our birth rights away and gave us birth certificates mm -hmm. and then sell them on the Wall Street stock market as discount securities. Mm -hmm. All right, brother? Everything that we got today, like driver's license, marriage license, all these different commercial papers, which is now chattel paper, because chattel slavery was a time where the chains was on your hands and your feet. They took the chains off their hands and your feet 
and they put it on your mind. Mm. And then they turn around and say involuntary servitude is against the law because it's a crime, right? This is what they said in the 13th Amendment, but never, never, never talk about, excuse me, they never talk about voluntary servitude because now what we do is take a pen, which they taught us in grade school, and sign a piece of contracts, signing away your rights. My grandfather told me there was a time when cars was first being made. You didn't need a license to drive a car. He said license was for you, license for the police. It made a lot of sense to me because when they stop you, what's the first thing they're going to say? License and registration. So what is a license? When you look in the Black Law Dictionary, the word license means permission. It means taxation. So is the car your car? No, the car ain't your car. You know how you know for a fact the car ain't your car? Because it says the state of New York. That's the title. So if, you, if your car is the state of New York, not a police officer can stop you because the car really belongs to them, it belongs to you. The house is your house? No, the house mm. ain't your house. Mm. You know how you know the house ain't your house? Try not to pay the taxes. It's who mm. our house it is. So we live in a feudal society. The Europeans brought the feudal system in this country along with slavery. You see what I'm saying? So, we, we, so until we make a change out of that condition, we're gonna always remain the same. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make a difference what kind of president we have here? We're going to still be in the same condition. The United States, right, right in this book here, this is from Title 28 of the United States Code. This book here, you know what it tells you? That the United States is a corporation. Mm -hmm. And the president is nothing but a CEO. What's the title of that book? You see what I'm saying? This is called Federal Rules of Civil Procedure. Mm -hmm. Can I hold it up? You see what I'm saying? And when you go to Section 3000, <clears throat> to Section 15, it says the United States is a federal corporation. So now you said to myself, wait a minute, what kind of citizen are you? Are you a 14th Amendment citizen or are you a 9th Amendment citizen? What's the difference between the two? Am I the big C or I'm the little C? What kind of games they're playing with the language? And we're wondering why we're in these conditions. Brother, that's all I do is study. I don't think nobody read more than me and they go to school and they're in colleges. I can show you stuff about how diabetes is a fraud just from this, this Noah's Webster's Dictionary, that we eat an artificial sugar that your body was not even supposed to be metabolizing, yeah, huh. and you're wondering why you're using insulin, mm -hmm. because you eat an artificial sugar that they use in the abstract and make because they're looking to try to make money. We're supposed to be eating natural sugar. Scientists oh, found out man. that fruit is the only sugar that, that's in the human body. So brother, until we have knowledge of ourselves and pick up these books and start reading law, law is the issue. Law is the issue. You know how you know law is the issue? Because when you look at the word civilian, ask the average person out in the street, what is the definition of civilian? We all went to school. We all educated. We got our PhDs. What is the definition of civilian? Not one person can tell you what the definition of civilian is. It that means one It means one who is skilled it, in law. It, it so how could we be a law-abiding citizen and we never was educated in school with law? So guess what? When they attack your family, what law you need? Family law. When they attack you with criminal issues, what you need? Criminal, criminal law. law. When they hit you with all kind of corporate rules and regulations, what you need? Corporate law. You follow me? So whatever law they're hitting you with, that's the law we need. Until we educate ourselves properly to understand what's going on, we're going to continue to be playing these people's corporate political games and continue to be slaves mentally, like Bob Molly say. Mentally. Because the slaves, the, 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 the chains that we had on our feet and hands, some days is gone. They don't need it no more. Like Carter G. Woodson say, the miseducation of the Negro, he said it was a time when the slave walked in the back door and then walked out the back door. Now when the slave master brings him in the front door to do some work in the house as a what? House Negro. And when the work is finished, now he's ready to walk out the door. So guess what he looks for? The back door. And it ain't no back door. So guess what he do? He'll make one. Can I say something, sir? Let's see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like this book. Um, I want to say, um, based on my feeling for 